Burglars are hitting weed shops in Elmira. Two so-called sticker shops were targeted in downtown Elmira in just the past week and were told one of them got hit early this morning. A third business in the same area was hit as well. Our 18 News reporter Nick Dubina joins us live on West Water Street with what we know so far. Good evening, Nick. Trina, I'm standing in front of 420 Novelties near the corner of North Main and West Water Street. I'm going to step out of the shot so you can get a better look at the front door, which is now boarded up after somebody smashed through it. Now, we're told this happened this morning just before 3 a.m. I tried to reach the owner today, but have not heard back yet. According to a Facebook post, a man who identifies as the owner said whoever broke in here, they did not get away with much because all the money and the weed was locked away in safes. The owner also says security cameras were rolling at the time. Now, I'm going to pan the camera over to another sticker shop that got hit across across the street. This one is called Tad Vibe. Now, on Saturday at 1.30 in the morning, an employee tells us that security video shows two individuals repeatedly banging on the door with a hammer. They were not able to break the door, and then they just ran away. Just today, on this same block at WMC North, business owners gathered for a meeting about how to improve downtown Elmira. Mayor Dan Mandel was there, and safety was a main concern. We asked the mayor if police will be doing anything different to help protect businesses here. Take a listen. I'm going to check with the chief to make sure we're doing our patrol. I'm sure we are, but if we have to do it, extra patrols now, the weather's getting nicer to help um, have a presence down here to help uh, prevent uh, burglaries and other crimes and vandalism that may happen. And is the city experiencing an uptick in break-ins, or is that something that we need to look into with the chief? Here and today, there was a couple that happened this week. Um, during this time of year, you may see that happen, but overall, not really. Um, this is the first time hearing of it, but um, we'd like to do our due diligence and be proactive to prevent this type of activity in our downtown and throughout our city. Now, Elmira police say they are investigating the attempted break-in behind me at Tad Vibe Tattoos. As far as 420 novelties, police say so far a police report has not been filed yet. In downtown Elmira, I'm Nick Dubina, 18 News. Thank you, Nick.